This is one of the world's greatest bird sanctuaries which has put Bharatpur on the global map. With thick forests and vast wetlands, the Kyola Deo National Park attracts thousands of migratory birds from halfway across the world. This is a bird watcher's paradise. Located around 3 kilometers outside the historic city of Bharatpur, this bird sanctuary is home to over 360 varieties of birds. How the birds came here is interesting. The Kyola Deo National Park, locally known for the ghana or thick forest that covers it, is located in a depression outside Bharatpur. Historically, this served as a natural floodplain for the region. In the mid-1700s, the Jat Empire builder, Maharaja Surajmal, who ruled over the area, created a band known as the Ajan Band on the river Gambhir, thereby creating vast wetlands in the area. Given that this was located on the Central Asian flyway used by migratory birds travelling down from Siberia and Central Asia in the winters, soon it began to attract thousands of migratory birds each year. Interestingly, the name of the sanctuary comes from here, an old medieval Shiva temple. You can find the Kyola Deo temple deep within the sanctuary. Today part of the World Heritage List because of the important natural habitat it provides and the biodiversity it ensures with its wetlands, grasslands and woodlands, the Kyola Deo sanctuary is famous across the world. Visit Kyola Deo and you might just spot a water hen walk by you or spot kingfishers, hornbills, woodpeckers or even the greater kokal, famous in India as the Bharadwaj bird. Once Kyola Deo was famous for its Siberian cranes, but these birds have almost disappeared from this route. Not to be missed, however, are the birds called the tigers of the Kyola Deo, the rare Indian Saras cranes living in the sanctuary. Thousands of tourists and bird watchers throng here to catch a glimpse of these endangered birds. Once a royal hunting ground that was frequented by viceroys and kings, the Kyola Deo National Park is a paradise, a sanctuary for thousands of birds and the subcontinent's great natural heritage.